Hey guys, it's Jin, and today I am going to be showing you a five below fitness haul. Most of the things I got are fitness related, so I thought it would be kind of interesting to show you guys. Um, so basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys what I bought at five below this morning, and yeah, most of it's fitness. There's a few things in there that are not like health fitness related, but it's a really great place to get some like, um, I don't know, just basic like home gym type of items. A lot of this stuff is going to be for my home gym. Um, just kind of things you can do to work out on your own, and it's everything there is five dollars or cheaper. So I believe they're a chain in the U.S. I'm not sure how widespread they are, but um, yeah, we have them here in Michigan, and I really like them. But it can be kind of dangerous because this, every it feels kind of like a dollar store because everything's five dollars or under. But since it's five dollars instead, it's like if you get ten things, you're up to fifty dollars already. So um, some things are less than five dollars, but I got all of this stuff for about $60, so just to give you kind of an idea. And I'm going to go ahead and start, I guess I'll start with the like couple things that are not really fitness related first, and then we'll get into the fitness stuff. So you can skip ahead a little if you're not interested in seeing this. But um, The first one I got, this was $4. Um, I'll try and tell you how much they, things were if I can remember. These are just some um, facial wipes. It says green tea and cucumber. And I just like to, um, I'm not really a big on washing my face. I've always been horrible about like washing my face before I go to bed. So I like to have some kind of just gentle wipes that I wipe my face like right before I go to bed so that I don't get dirt and stuff and oils on my pillow. Um, so then I don't have to wash my pillowcases as often. And yeah, I just like to have those. It's easier for me. They're not the most like environmentally friendly thing because obviously you're throwing them out. Um, it'd be better for the environment to use a washcloth, but and <laughs> and just wash your face. I'm hoping to add that to my nighttime routine eventually, but for now I'm using these because I'm still kind of just getting things. I'm just setting myself up for success here. Okay. <laughs> Another thing I got that is not fitness related at all is just some um, nail polishes, and I don't know how well you guys can see those. Hopefully my camera is adjusting, but I just got some really pretty spring colors. I don't know how good this brand is. I've never used it. It's called Fresh Paint. Um, but they had it at five below. These were three for five dollars. And so I got like a purpley one. Uh, fuchsia kind of. I got this paler pink one. And then I got this kind of pretty spring green. So I think these will be nice for spring coming up because they are really just nice pretty pastel type of colors. Um, and I don't do my nails a whole lot. I just did them the other day, so that's why they're painted right now. But I'm trying to do them a little more just because I've been doing a lot more, like, I've just been feeling better and feeling in the mood to do those kinds of little things. Um, the last thing I got that's not really fitness related at all is this set of incense sticks. And they are jasmine scented. They smell pretty good. Um, and then it came with this pretty little incense holder. I hope you guys can see that. I'm not very good at doing the whole showing the up close stuff because I don't know how well my camera adjusts but it's really pretty it's like jeweled and glittery and it has like little reflective things on there so I'm excited to burn those it says it has 40 incense sticks in here um, I don't know how much this was I kinda think it was five dollars because they had less fancy ones for three dollars but I'm not really sure so yeah I'm excited to have that and just make my room smell pretty maybe put it in the kitchen, but I am, um, you'll see some of the stuff that I bought today is related to yoga, and I told you guys in my last video that I tried a hot yoga class, I actually went back to it on Tuesday and did it again, and I'm really starting to like yoga, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I honestly never thought I would be a person who would be into yoga, but I really like it, and I really feel a desire to get better at it, and yeah, I don't know, I just, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. So um, there's actually a yoga place like just around the corner from my house. So I think I'm going to look into their classes because it's a little closer than the hot yoga place. And hopefully I can start going there more regularly and maybe go to the hot yoga once in a while. I did buy a, they have like an introductory package at the hot yoga place where you can do $10 for 10 days, consecutive days. So like the first 10 days, um you can go unlimited. So basically I paid $10 when I went on Tuesday. On, when I went Sunday, that was the first time I went, 
and I went with my stepmom and her friend, and since uh, her friend is already, like, had a membership or whatever, or a plan with the yoga place, we were allowed to try it for free the first time, um, and then when I went Tuesday, I did the $10 for 10 days. So until next Friday, I can go unlimited to hot yoga. Um, it's a little bit of a drive for me, but so I'm going to go a few times during that period. I'm planning to hopefully go tomorrow after work and then maybe Saturday morning and for sure Sunday morning and then probably next Tuesday night as well. So I'm going to try and get my like money's worth out of the $10 for 10 days thing before the 10 days are up. And yeah, after that, I'm going to check out the yoga place by my house and maybe start doing it there. But going back to the reason I got these, I kind of thought it would be fun to, or just relaxing to burn these while I'm doing yoga at home in my room. So, um, yeah, I did some yoga in here yesterday, just some of the stuff we did in the class and yeah, it's, I just find it really relaxing and I really like it. So if you have never tried yoga, maybe you should try it because I never thought I would like it to be honest. All right, moving on to what the rest of the video is about. So I'm going to show you guys the fitness stuff that I got. Um, and the first thing here is a pair of shorts. I haven't tried these on yet. I'm not 100% sure if they will fit me right now. But these are like athletic shorts. Um, they're just a really cute floral print. And then they're, you know, the black band. And they have a drawstring, which I really like. And the drawstring's actually on the inside so that it doesn't show. It has a lining inside as well, so that's nice. I got these mostly for the idea of doing hot yoga class because you get really hot. You really want to wear like as little clothes as possible. I have a pair of, I don't have a lot of shorts. Um, I have one pair of shorts and they're like cotton shorts and they're longer than these. And so that's what I've been wearing and they get soaked and really hot. So um, I hope these will fit. If they don't fit, I'll probably keep them because they were only, I think they were five bucks doesn't tell you on here but I think they were five dollars they're you know they're only five dollars and if I keep losing weight they will fit anyways I think they probably will fit but I'll have to see so yeah I got those really cute I really like them hope they fit um, I also got a fitness headband it says head wrap I don't know what the difference is but um, I have had a lot of trouble wearing headbands I bought one like last week and it was just like a silky material kind of headband. And they go, when I put them on my head, they stay there for a minute. And then they start to go like this. And then they pop off. And it's horrible. I can never wear these types of headbands. Um, but this one has, you probably can't see. Sorry, I'm sitting on one of those exercise balls. So it's making weird noises. Um, and I'm in my room again. If you hear the fish filters humming. I did top off my fish tanks today so that there's no trickling water sounds. Um, but anyway, the inside of this headband has these two little, like, I don't know what it is, silicone or something. It's two little strips of, like, kind of sticky. So I'm hoping that will help it stay in my hair better. So I just like that for, like, if when I'm working out, I want my hair out of my face. Or sometimes if I'm, do like doing like a face mask or something like that at home it's just nice to have like all the baby hairs out or like if you're doing your makeup and stuff like that but mostly about it for working out um so there's that <clears throat> I also got these are ooh, sorry <laughs> does that camera move I think my camera moved when that happened okay I got two four pound hand weights and they're really pretty lavender color so I want to be able to increase my upper body strength because my arms are really weak and I bought these for my home gym in the basement they have all different um, types of hand weights at five below I'm gonna put them on the ground so that they don't fall and make a lot of noise again but well I'll show you a little up closer but this is just a four pound dumbbell they had them in all different colors all different um, they had like two pound ones one pound three pound yeah I don't know why I'm saying all out of order, but they had like basically one pound through five pounds, I think, hand weights, and then they also had some eight pound ones. So I got a couple of those so I can do that in my basement. I also got these, which are adjustable ankle slash wrist weights. Um, I might have gone overboard with some of the stuff, I don't know. But I got these, um, basically I thought if I wear them on my ankles, it can just like add to your workout. I'm gonna have to do a little more looking into like the best way to use these 
but basically you strap them around your ankles or apparently you can also put them around your wrists. They are a two pound pair, one pound each, so they're not super heavy. I just thought it might add to, you know, just to add a little bit to a regular workout, put these on. Let me open these and show you guys. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. If you didn't see that already, I think I already showed you that. Okay, and here's what the weights look like. So they are pretty small. They feel like they're full of sand. And they have a Velcro strap, so it looks like... I don't know, how does this work? Okay, here we go. So you take the Velcro strap off like this, and then you can adjust them. So I'm going to put it on my wrist and just see if I can show you guys what it looks like real quick. I know this wasn't really necessarily a try it video, but whatever. Okay. So there you go. So wrist weight, and then you can put it on your ankle as well. It's pretty adjustable. It looks like it would get pretty, like there's this much more, so you could adjust it if you have bigger wrists, or I have pretty wide, like, calves, so they should fit onto my ankles without a problem. So, yeah, this is, I guess this is about as big as they could go. It's like that big, which would be pretty big for my wrists. <laughs> um, so yeah, those, I'm excited to try those out, and just get, like, a little something extra when I'm working out at home. Um, I don't know where to put these. I'll put them on the floor with the other dumbbells. <laughs> Alright, um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this resistance tube. And it's just a basic, it shows the, on the back you can see a girl doing like some exercises with it. But you can use it all kinds of ways, but mostly for upper body stuff. So as I mentioned, my upper body is pretty weak. I want to work on improving it. So um, we've actually used these in some exercise classes I've done where you like step on them and then you can lift up like this or we've had done partner work where someone holds it behind you and you do all different kinds of arm movements. So um, I'm going to have to probably, I'll probably look for like a YouTube video with workouts with this. But another neat thing about this if you're working out by yourself is it says door anchor included. So what the door anchor is is actually this little tab that's now it's hard to show you if I don't open it maybe I'll just open it okay so now I got that off you can see the handles have a nice foam grip where you can hold on to them and then it's just a like rubbery type of tubing it's pretty stretchy but not too much so you can get a good workout and then this is the door tab now I'm not a hundred so okay yeah that's pretty simple so for the door tab it has this loop and that's where you would put the handle through and then you will slide it down to the middle of the band. And then what you can do is see how it has, I don't know how well you can see that, but this has a little like lump. There's like a little hard ball in there. So you basically put this in your door and then shut the door on it. So then your door is going to hold it like this, unless you don't have a very like tight door. And then you can work out on it by yourself. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, they had other ones that didn't have that, but they were the same price, so I just bought the one that had it. Yeah, I'm excited to use that in some of my home workouts. And another thing I got here is this travel foam roller. I didn't really get it because it's travel size. That doesn't really matter to me. I have never used a foam roller, but I've heard they are like some people told me they're like a must have for a home gym and basically what they do is you can use um to um basically if you have sore muscles in your back things like that in the back it shows a girl like sitting on it rolling on it so you can use it to kind of massage yourself your back your hip or and it shows some different exercises so and it says exercise chart included i'm actually going to go ahead and open that so i can look at that and show you guys too so here is the foam roller, Gold's Gym is the brand, and it's just a 6 inch one, so it's not a big one. They had bigger ones, but I wasn't sure if I needed both or which was better. So I got this one because it came with the exercise chart, and I thought that would be good since I've never used one before. So if I decide I want a bigger one, I'll go back and buy that. And then here is the chart. So they market it as a travel roller, like it's easy to take with you if you're going to... I don't know if you're going to go travel somewhere. Just throw that in your bag because it's little. Um, and then it has some instructions on how to use it safely. And then it has some different exercises to massage your legs, to improve shoulder mobility, stretch your hips. So yeah, you probably can't see that very well. But 
Um, that looks kind of interesting. I'm going to probably try those out today and s try some of those different exercises. All right, and then on to the back to the yoga topic. I actually got some yoga stuff. So I got this book, which is called Anatomy of Fitness Yoga. It says the trainer's inside guide to your workout. So it's a yoga book. I just thought this would be good since I'm really new to yoga. And it shows you all different... Let's see, I'll find a... Uh, it shows you all different yoga poses. And it's really neat because it gives you modifications. So how to make them harder or easier. So here's one, for example, extended hand to toe, hand to big toe pose. So there's the girl doing the pose. And then it says modifications, you can make it harder. Um, and then it tells you another way to make it, two ways to make it harder. Tells you one made a way to make it easier. So that's kind of cool. And it also gives you, on the next page, it gives you tips about the correct form, which I think is super important, especially being new to yoga. I don't know much about correct form so I think that's going to be really helpful and what I thought is really cool is it shows you like an anatomical view with all the muscles and labels the muscles that you're using for this pose so yeah I just thought that was really neat it says how long you should do each pose for what the benefits are what to be careful of so yeah I thought that was really neat and only for five bucks I thought it was worth it so some of these poses we did in the class I took like this one the cobra pose <laughs> So maybe someday I'll show you guys some yoga video of me doing yoga when I get better at it. And then the last two things I got were also yoga related. I got myself a new yoga mat. I don't know how well you can see it. It says ombre yoga mat. It doesn't look very ombre to me. It just looks like teal. But this is a nice thin one. The one I already have was pretty thick. Like probably like I would say it was like five times as thick as this mat. So um actually I like that one for using it in my basement when I'm doing like the main reason I got that thick mo thick yoga mat is because I'd like to jump rope to work out and uh, my basement has concrete floors with like a very thin carpet so I basically got that to jump on because it's better for your joints like lower impact when I'm jumping rope um, so that works well for that but it doesn't work so great for the actual yoga poses because it's literally it's like a half inch thick or thicker or maybe even thicker it's like an inch thick almost so sorry it's right over there which is why I was like looking over there but um yeah that one's really thick and it just makes it harder to for me to balance on it so um I got a thin one and they actually recommend a thin one for the hot yoga classes so that will probably make the, some of those balancing things a little easier for me so there's that, and then the very last thing I got is just a towel. It says designer fitness towel. I don't know what designer means. It's just a towel with a pattern on it. And mine is this pink one in the middle here with the black and purpley stripes. And basically I got this for hot yoga classes because you put a towel down on top of your yoga mat. And yeah, you have to have a towel on your yoga mat. Basically because you sweat so much that your yoga mat just would become a slippery mess without a towel. So this is a nice, thin towel. Cute design. So yeah, I thought that would be fun to have for the next time I go to hot yoga. So that is everything I got. Let me know in the comments down below what is like your favorite thing. Or if you love to shop at Five Below, what's one of your recommended items there. They also they have all kinds of workout stuff that they had like kettlebells and um, they have the exercise balls and all kinds of stuff. So um, if you're looking for cheap fitness equipment, it's definitely a good place to look to yeah to start. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.